Though the majority of the Yahara watershed is in agriculture, urban areas continue to grow. This can have negative effects on lakes, rivers, and streams, as well as people who live near these waterways. So we're interested in uh, how this landscape's changed over the last couple hundred years. And um, there have been lots of major changes because we went from a landscape with just Native Americans to having uh, European settlement, lots of drainage of wetlands, agriculture came in, had a big impact. But more recently, uh, it's been urbanization that's been a, uh, one of the major players. And, and the most important thing about urbanization is that we el eliminate uh, the ability of water to infiltrate the ground by building impervious surfaces. An impervious surface is usually a man-made surface that does not allow water to soak into the ground. Well, here we are in a neighborhood just a few blocks from the University of Wisconsin. Um, and one of the main effects of urbanization is increase in impervious area. So when we're talking about impervious area, we're talking about the streets, uh, the sidewalks, the rooftops. Anything that's not pervious and permeable where water can infiltrate uh, into the soil as it would in a field or forest or in someone's front, front yard. What are the effects of an increased amount of impervious surface? One is it can increase the stormwater runoff. And so there's more volume that instead of uh, percolating into the soils, the pervious grasses, the pervious fields, the pervious forests, it can instead run off and become overland flow. Uh, so we have more water reaching our streams immediately after a precipitation event. Another thing that can be affected is the timing. And so when water runs off these surfaces, it moves very, very quickly through uh, over the streets, into the storm sewers, and, and to the receiving water bodies. And so that increases not only the volume of water, but it m flows much more quickly. And so we have a flashier hydrologic response. And with that flashier hydrologic response, uh, we can get uh, greater peak stream flow. And so that can cause flooding hazards downstream. How much faster is the flow of stormwater runoff from impervious surfaces? Whatever falls on, uh, on a street in Madison will probably be in the lake within a half an hour or less, uh, while if that had been just a pervious surface, it, uh, it may have taken years to get to the lakes, or it may evaporate, have evaporated uh, or transpired through plants. Another uh, impact of urbanization is related to water quality. And so when water's running over the streets, it can pick up uh, sediment and contaminants that are associated with that sediment and reduce water quality. What are the long-term results of an increasing amount of impervious surface? The Mendota watershed is probably only uh, uh, six or seven percent impervious and, um, because much of the Yahara watershed is agricultural. So over the next several decades there'll be continued urban development and continued uh, impervious surfaces and uh, that can uh, obviously increase the flood risk uh, here in Madison. Impervious surfaces already contribute to flooding in the Yahara watershed. As our cities grow, it will become increasingly important that we work to minimize the amount of impervious surface. Let's talk. Look around you. What impervious surfaces do you see? Think about where you live. What surfaces in your neighborhood act as impervious surfaces?